You're with uh, Coach of the Year, Bon Shemansky. Coach, you were hard on yourself at times this year, not getting your team prepared, yet you win this award. What does that mean to you? Well, it's great recognition, I think, like I said, the whole program. You know, what everybody in our staff, our support staff, our administration, and, um, you know, I, I frankly get to sit around and look like I know what I'm doing, but they're doing all the hard work. And, uh, you know, I think the real upshot for me is it's neat to be recognized by such great peers, and, and the coaches in our conference are so um, talented, gifted, have unbelievable winning records, so much wisdom and, and uh, experience that it's a, it's a really neat award to get. And you came in here and you wanted to raise banners and all this other stuff to win this award. I think that has to mean a lot to you in terms of your individual coaching career. Where does this rank? Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a neat, uh, it's a really neat trophy. It's the kind of thing that'll stay on my desk, and, and I certainly won't forget it. I don't take it for granted. Um, but but our team knows the same thing as I would sacrifice any individual award to get that team team trophy at the end of this weekend. So, um, you know, we're we're proud, we're pleased, but we know that we're primed and ready to go because we really want to win the Big East championship. You lose Nikki Klingsporn and Becca Gagno, two former All Americans. You come in with a two freshmen and then Danny Carlson playing those spots. How were you able to adjust from those losses? You know, it was really hard at first, and uh, th those same question marks that other people had, we had them internally too, and uh, Chelsea Heyer came in and just really stole the show as our freshman setter, and uh, so smooth, so cool and collected, it's hard to imagine that she's a first-year player, and then of course Danny Carlson, um, you know, she stepped in in, in Becca's spot, and uh, just really hasn't missed a beat, so we're, we're very fortunate in that way that we're prepared to fill those gaps.